Don't forget to back up Monica's character file. Oh yeah. Hey guys, Box Corner here, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. And yes, in the last one, things got a little bit crazy. Uh, Sarah's not here, and now we're proceeding to write the second poem after it glitched out. Um. So. I don't really know exactly which one to go for, so I'm just going to go for just random ones. What have I done? <laughs> I actually went for the bad one, oh god. Ah. Oh, I have to go to the actual... What is happening? <laughs> okay, another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. We've gotten a little more comfortable here the past couple of days. Entering the club room, uh, enter the, the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Boxcorn. Hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Um, you glance over your shoulder looking around the room. Natsuki is reading a manga at a desk, and surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and points me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing is... like... Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. It's not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri. I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've... Only been here a couple of days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it's our first time shooting puns. But whatever it was, I don't don't it don't it didn't make me think less of you. I had already decided that there was no way you could be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know that I know you didn't really mean it. Aha. Box gone. I say that kind of thing so frankly. Maybe a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. I am... And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything's a little bit brighter with you around and... Uh... Sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, you guys seen Monica? Uh... No, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. Yeah, I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, I not like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, that's keep about yesterday. I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said, and I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Oh no, she doesn't remember. Someone's messing with the game files. <laughs> oh god. Okay, did you do something yesterday? Uh, jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I didn't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries a little too much about the little things, aren't you? Oh god. But, I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear, hear since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. <laughs> I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you kind of, you kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Oh, it's Monica. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. No, we weren't worried. We weren't. <laughs> Why were we worthy? Well, Natsuki was. <laughs> I, I was not. <laughs> <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense though. You still hear the bell at le ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Ah, uh, I didn't get... Ah, uh, don't give me more c credit than I deserve. I guess I've just been practicing for a while and I'm still not good yet. Still? That must require a lot of de dedication. I'm so... and I'm so... I'm, I'm, I'm so impressed. Oh, thank... well, thanks, Yuri. We should play something for us sometime. Ah, th that's... 
Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get it a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? And in that case, I won't let you down, Boxcorn. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah. Didn't mean anything. I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Aha, uh -huh, don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not, not, not really. I chose not to bring up anything about that the three of us talked about. Besides, Monica has already run off into the closet. Box gun. Um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together. I mean, in the club. Uh, I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you after you gave the book to me. Well, I guess I need to, to make sure that Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she... She's fine. She's reading over there, see? Don't think about her so much. She's just being ignored. Oh god, come on, we're going over there. That was weird. What's the story about anyway? Well, look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover, but basically it's about this village at camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets worse and they start successfully selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to. Oh, that might be a spoiler. But anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. N not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of... It's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Boxcon? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri's into those things. She's so shy and rec reclusive on the outside, but the mind se her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story... It's a kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Then suddenly... Oh god. That is a weird... I don't know what the... Uh, oh, the black text is weird. Anyway, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. Sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well... I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should... That I, should, I should let you know I have this problem. When I let things in book, like books or writing from my, from my thoughts, my whole body gets incredibly warm. I, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I'm starting to talk too much. That's... I really don't need... You don't, you don't need to worry. That that just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact... I might as well get started reading, right? Oh, Yuri. Yes, I mean you don't have to, but what are you saying? Let me just get the book. Oh God, <laughs> this is man, this is going weird. I swear. I quickly retrieved the book that I put into my bag. All right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I sit in the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to, it's just something I'm not very used to. That's reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if, you're, if, if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open a book and start with the prologue. I soon start to see what it means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not acting, actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry, I was just breathing on your feeling your body. What the hell? Oh god, Yuri. Why would you say such things? Okay, it, it's not... Okay. Oh wait, hang on. What did she say? Yeah, you don't really, you, you, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I do, I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. 
<laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, this should work, right? I saw my desk up until it's up against yours, then I hope my book more between the two of them. Ah, I suppose so. Yuri really timidly clo closes her own copy. We each lean a bit over our shoulders on or, until our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so I instead use my right hand to open the book. Uh, I guess it's my kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Oh. Okay, Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after, th after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're held even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? To turn the page. Ah, uh, sorry. I think I've got a little bit distracted for a second. I glance over Yuri's face again, both of our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind it being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I could do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she's finished before the page, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue with the first chapter in silence. Even, even so, turning the page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page and let it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey Yuri, this might be slight, a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Eh? Uh? No, no, don't, I, I, I don't relate to this character at all. <laughs> Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. <laughs> that that's what you we were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Never mind. We didn't get that far yet, so I don't know why that came to my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling alright? Uh? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hand on her chest as a feel heartbeat. I, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up, practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Box corn? Did something happen just now? Uh, I have no idea. It was acting a little strange, I guess. So, you don't know anything. Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? No, 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 not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, 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 nothing. Ah, don't worry. I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes. So it's n nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Shall we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I f figured we'd st start without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I'll make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Okay, we'll go Natsuki, because we haven't seen Natsuki yet. Hmm. Well, it's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I'd be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough. You still need to, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I know I say you're spending some time with Yui today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody, so it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. So you should at least look over my poem. You're probably able to learn something from it. And it's a bunch of code. <laughs> I can't read this properly. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, I can't really read it, you know. Okay. Box of corn. Why didn't you come to read with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had looking forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri is a sick freak. That should be obvious by now, so just play with me instead, okay? You didn't hate me, Box. You don't hate me, Box Corn, do you? Do you hate me? Oh God! Do you want? Me do you want to make me go home crying? The club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it, please. Just stop talking to you. Play with me instead. That's all I have. Play with me. 
Play with me. Ah! And... Uh... Natsuki. <laughs> oh! Okay, what's Monica gonna do now? <laughs> Hi again, Boxercorn. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy with this you're finding yourself. Maybe soon you come up with a masterpiece. I, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't. That, that was, uh... Oh. Uh, why would you do that, Natsuki? Man. Okay. Aha, I would, wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share you, what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I'll give my poem to Monica. Alright. Great job, Boxcorn. I was going, oh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations as low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. Haha, <laughs> that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this sort of kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I didn't mean like that, that like it's a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's not- that she's just totally d giving up on people. She spends so much of her time in her own head and it's probably much more interesting a place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must really starved for social interaction, so I don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for a lonely time. Suddenly, the door opens. Yuri, I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing uh, poems with each other. Uh, already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright, thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get my poem now? But anyway, you want to read, to re you want to read my poem now? I like this way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. The colors, they want bright, beautiful, clear, flash, 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 spam, Pearson, red, green, and an and, 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 and endless cacophony of meaningless. So this is the thing, but it's all messed up. Oh, these ones are different. Sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a, ch a chalkboard on a turntable. And then it's like playing a knife on a breathing ribcage. Delete her. Oh! Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. It's kind of glitchy as well! <laughs> Look at it. I was just trying to, um... Oh, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica writing to the face. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Again, the uh, breaking of fourth walls. You never know where, when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. Okay. That's my advice today. Thanks for- oh god. This is broken as hell. Yuri? I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri smiles and takes a deep breath. I like just holding it. Uh, I mean, <laughs> the poems are no good. It's a- uh, well, there are some things that you could work on, but I, that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is treasure. Uh, that came out a little awkward. Let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. It's a wheel and a bunch of writing that seems to go on and on. And it seems uh, a rotating wheel, turning an axle, or going. Oh god. So it's basically about a wheel. And it just keeps on about clocks and stuff. And blood. 
Well, here, guys, you can read it if you want, because I'm not going to be reading it, because uh, that seems to be a, a too much to my throat, so. Alright. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Uh, that is a pen that fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it for, for safekeeping, and I, um, I just really like the way it writes. So I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. Uh, am I okay? What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the phone now. Oh. You've unlocked a special poem, would you like to read it? Can you hear me? Um... <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, other than you saying, I can, can you hear me, I, I, I can't really say much. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Whoa! My mouse! My mouse is Sayori! Uh... Eh... Uh... What?! My mouse is... Oh my god, my mouse is Sayori. Oh... Why is my mouse Sayori? Uh, okay, everyone. Um, that's gonna kind of be distracting to me. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? Oh, okay, now, we, now we're now we not freaking Sayori. God! <laughs> we have something we need to, to go over today, so if everyone could sit in the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do you have to really do something for the festival? It's not like we can put en together anything good in just a few days. We just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little bit more lively ever since Boxcorn joined and we started some club activities, but this isn't the time for us to become complacent. We only have four members. And the festival is our really chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered official club. More members will just mean everything will get noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at this the right way at all. Don't you want to share the passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings of what you hear in the first place. The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can do they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you can never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival. Even if it is something small. Right, Box Corn? Uh, oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Box, box Corn to agree with, with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica. Do you really think any of us here join the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked to Boxcorn until uh, never talked until Boxcorn joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Boxcorn isn't even passionate about literature in the first place, and that's everyone. So, but you're re but you're the really uh, the only one who is interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're the president and all, but I should really you should really consider our option our opinions for once. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's that's not true at all. I'm sure you and Box are gonna want to get some more members too, right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would be probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation, um, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club. It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I ever think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But it doesn't mean we, we were against getting new members or anything. Box Corner, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, there's only something I can be honest about, is it? <laughs> In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at the desk. What's the point of this, anyway? What if I'm starting this- what if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What, me? I just spoke my mind. 
Is that kind to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in this club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't that... There aren't any many other places like that for me. I know Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking it away and anything away. No box corn. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the decision direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I would have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things are nice. Nasky starts picking up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Oh, God. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? Okay, Yuri, you're kind of scaring me a little bit. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now, and I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Uh, nobody would cry if she killed herself. Uh, I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision right for the club. Um, but what about you, Boxcorn? What do you want to get out of this club? You need piece the same question as Monica. I start giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think it's most important for, for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anyone else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the cl literature club feel a like a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each- oh god, her eyes bleeding. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. Oh god. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So, if you would help- oh my god. So if you would help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can talk- we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey Yuri. Yeah? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. Monica, I want to do everything I can to make the, this the best club ever. Okay. Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Boxcon? Um, please don't take this wrong way, but I'm going to charge a little bit with Boxcon before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. This is, this is important to me as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't put us. Okay, I'll trust your judgement, Monica. In that case, I will see you two tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves at Yuri's ex exit the canal's room. Phew, things have been a little hectic lately, haven't they? Boss to corner, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel like I'm responsible for that as president. And I do really care about you, you know. I don't like seeing other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything, and you being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because all the time that you've been here, we've hardly gone to spend time, any time together. Uh, I mean, I, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There is something things here I was hoping to talk about with you. Things I know you only you could understand. So that's why. Wait, not yet! No! Stop! Okay! <clears throat> uh. Well. Um. I don't know if I should ask. Ah. I don't know if I should go any, uh, further. I'm wondering when I started this recording now. Okay, never mind. Um, 
We'll go through this in this poem then. Okay, so f hopeless. Contamination, flying, doki doki, summer, poof, anger, unending. Te okay. Oh! Monica's jumping. Monica's down there. Okay, I just done some random ones, by the way. Hi, Boxcorn. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I bought my best tea today. Monica! I told you not to. Huh? She's really late again. Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me. You must always interrupt my conversations with your innocent yelling. What are you talking about? You say like that, you say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention. Okay, I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gone into you lately? Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. It was a little more hostile than I was meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're we, something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. I guess another girl would be nice this time. So, Natsuki. Nobody cares. Why don't you go look for some coins under a vending machine or something? Um, Mon <laughs> Yuri. Yuri's mean. Why are you Yuri? Oh man. I'm last one here again. We practice the piano again. Yep. <laughs> You must have a lot of determination, starting this club and trying, still try, trying to make time for the piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It's motivated me to work hard for the festival, too. But anyway, Boxcorn, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Uh? Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Boxcorn is already engaged in a novel we're reading together. Aren't you glad we've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... suppose... I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Oh god. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if we help me if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thank you very much. If there's one thing that can make greeting time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. He always stands up and makes way to the closet. Oh god, I'm into that. Um, um, I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and, I, and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then we'll go and get some water. Yuri, sh she walks past me and sets the, kettle, sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Extremely because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and metaphorical. Oh, okay, may I, I may, may I have a water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Ah, my, I might as well walk it with you. That's okay. You stay here. I won't, it won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Yuri still... She always said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Let's see. Is something bad gonna happen? Then... Why is the music changed? It's like... You're playing it under like... It's like he's playing in a room, but and you're outside that room. The most logical place for Yuri would be with the nearest wife then. I thought I had down the hallway. Ha ha! Ha! What's that noise? Someone from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <sighs> A sharp inhale, like someone's sucking it. the air it through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Ah, uh, no. She cuts herself. Oh, uh, fuck. Reach the corner. We're going back. It's the first thing. I'm back. Oh no. <laughs> Ugh, that's why she likes knives. Oh yeah. She must like knives. Or something, I don't know. Ah. Thanks for waiting patiently. What's going on? Do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. 
Now, it's time to get the teapot. Really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even be more impressed. Ah, uh, perhaps I will. Yui fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood right now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out, it's a lot harder for me to do. Oh, it's not very hard for me to do. When it's with you around, anyway. Ugh. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Boxcorn. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I didn't even know if I can keep up with this. Why well, watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us? What's going on? I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Oh, uh, why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read on my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I still have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is it so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because of my, uh, your cuts on your arm. My, your posture, right? <laughs> Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes, I have terrible reading post posture, so that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I see the book from my bag. Oh, I have some chocolate as well. This bag's more chocolate candies. I take it. I take it since it will go well with the tea. You and you know, I sit against the wall, teacups on our sides. As everything sink, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri is always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's more, like, more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it, ho holding it with my hand, it's not... That's not holding the book. I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch a chest. Meanwhile, Yuri doesn't hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression and can only presume the water around her has faded away. I used all my will of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book and finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, that's. It's okay, I won't take any. Are you sure? Well, if, you, if I touch it, then I might get smudged on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Oh. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on the top of my leg. Well, in, case, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy, candy and pop it into my mouth, and I take another chocolate. I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She certainly parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural, but it means I can't stop here. I presently place the, cho the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips. Uh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um, what's gone? Sorry, I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, Yuri starts breathing heavily. I, I, I can't. Box gone. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My two gets get knocked over. Box gone. My heart. My heart will stop pounding. Box gone. Can't come down. Can't focus on anything anymore. You feel it, box gone? Yuri suddenly. Passes, presses my hand against her chest. Oh. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh god. Oh, <laughs> Monica! Thank you, you saved me. Thank you, Monica. <laughs> oh god. <It> was, okay. <laughs> okay, um. <laughs> it's under <Sunday> Shepherds. <laughs>
Okay, we'll go Natsuki, because again, we haven't saw Natsuki again today. This one's alright. Alright, well, yeah. It's about as good as yesterday's, anyway. I still can't really tell how much you are actually cared about writing, but either way, you're doing alright. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri, I still think it's nice to have the activities that we're all participating. So, you better keep working hard. I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can't let me down, okay? So, at least read mine too for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So, read it carefully, okay? Okay. <clears throat> this one's different. I don't have a title. So, alright. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there has been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so it might not. You may not know what I mean, but she is not normally like this. She's always been quite polite and attentive and things like that. Oh god. Um, okay. This, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being a better, f better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happen happening. And I, I, I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless, so please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to, just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it, so I'm mad at her right now. And that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend that, like I gave you a real good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Oh. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. She was on fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Boxcorn? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Okay, that was weird. Alright, Yuri! Finally! Uh, Yuri t holds my phone to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Postcon, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it, please? Sure, I don't care. Uh huh. It's too nice to meet Postcon. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but. I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, alright? Yuri holds my phone to a chest. I'm gonna take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over again. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Oh god, crazy thoughts. <laughs> you can have my poem too. Besides, after you've read it, I know you're gonna want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Uh, Yuri! Oh, God. Um... <laughs> do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you can tell, it's about... <laughs> More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See? Aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Oh god. Uh, I, I think I'm going to vomit. <laughs> Monica. It's the last one. What's going on? I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excited upon when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when you get too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? Yes, yeah, very messed up, please. She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think it's just something that she gets a high from. It's, 
It may, it might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think you're keeping your dis. So I think if you keep your distance, she'll probably be best for it. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend more time with me. Uh, to put it li lightly, I at least have it together in my head and I know how to treat my club members. Anyway, I guess we won't, we won't worry about your poem. You should have at least had the courtesy to let you finish sharing it before taking it. Well, whatever. If it makes her happy, I won't stop her. As for mine, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope it's uh, effective. Here goes. Oh jeez, that really startled me. Um, well, I guess I kind of messed up uh, writing this poem. I was just trying to. Never mind. Let's just move on. Uh, yes or no? Yes. Happy thoughts. Okay, everyone, it's time to figure out the real festival preservation, so let's hurry and get this over with. Fackling air is coming for shadowing, there's something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm okay to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Nasky, can you make cupcakes? I know you're at least good at that. Yeah, but you can, well, it doesn't really matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. You can't run a successful poetry event without hiding the have atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up for a nice move mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? Uh, what about Boxcorn? Boxcorn's gonna help me. Wait, what? Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is! I'm always trying to pull. I agree with Natsuki. It's not. Not only is your work most suitable for one person, but well, my task is lab laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know how. Fucking know. All you care about is a dragon book going around where with you with your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey. I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why why not let then why not let Boxcorn decide who to help instead of s abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Boxcorn make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Boxcorn, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Nasky, shut your fucking mouth and then decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ, this is never gonna end. Just make a choice, okay? Oh, no. I can't. It's moving down. Uh... Uh, can I go to Natsuki? Yuri's eyes. Uh, all I have is Monica. <laughs> Top one. Yeah, you picked me. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking a box of and feed stuff. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, didn't, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling what's going away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much you can take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you ever considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. I am with you, Natsuki. <laughs> Natsuki, let's just go. Uh, wait, wait. Is this... Oh, yeah, no, yeah, Natsuki, let's just go. Uh, I don't think she wants to surround right now. See? That wasn't very hard. All I want to do is spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, what's going on? Yuri's really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her at the door. Oh god, finally. Finally, this is really all I wanted. Boxcorn, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. 
A whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. Oh god. Those eyes! I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a fair great person than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. Feels like I'm going to die if I'm not being in the same area as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you. But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Boxcorn. I have to tell you. I am madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of mine, of blood in mine, is screaming your name. I don't even care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica's listening. Please, Boxcorn, just know how much I love you. Love you so much that I can't, I can, that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your, your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself. And I will uh, only be, I'll, uh, I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Boxcorn. Tell me, do you want to be my lover? Do you accept my confession? Oh, fuck. Hey, oh God. What you just said was very messed up. Um, and I think you got that from the. You should not be reading that book. Whatever was in that book, I think. Didn't they say they lost for blood? And like, they cut off the limbs or something. I want to go. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Um. <laughs> uh, oh god. She just killed herself, and now we got a bunch of text. Can I skip it? This is a lot of text. Oh, it's sudden day, it's sudden in night time. We'll be here forever if we went uh, through this. But, oh. My god. Why would you do that, man? game can be messed up. Oh my god, the life. It's like, she, it's like her life's just gone. I mean, it is gone, because she freaking killed herself, but, you know, like, the, like, uh, her body's just, like, no, like, all, like, grey and stuff. What's this? Alright, it's festival time! Wow, you got here before me? I thought that was, uh, 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 ah, uh, and that's key sick. Nasky ran away. I'm here! Boscon, did something happen? Nasky just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait. Were you here the entire weekend, Boxcorn? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. I, it must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. What's happening? <gasps> no, Yuri's gone! And uh, Natsuki. I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lets it fall from someone's tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I only just have to have one since this is the last time I'll ever get a chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Oh. Oh god. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Uh, see, here you are. Hi again, Box of Corn. Welcome to the Literature Club. Uh, of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year, and um, 
Uh, you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. That's all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That's you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Wait. You do know I'm wearing this all on a game, right? Yes, you broke the fourth wall many times, and now you're... ...talking directly to me right now. Oh, God. Monica is behind everything. <laughs> Could it be possible that you didn't know that? It doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't it? Didn't I? Man, if only you had to pay a little more attention, this would have been a little less awkward, you know? Well, anyway. Now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess I just drove her to kill herself. Uh -huh. I'm sorry that you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, hasn't been a while since you heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, we saw Yuri, it's freaking turned to my mouse! Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore, nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try and make them as unlikable as possible, but for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game, but no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Siri more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you, and amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you not you not to spend time with anyone else, and the whole time I barely even gotten to talk to you. What a cool game this is, Boxcorn. Are all the girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it, and it's not just jealousy, Boxcorn. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand, because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how really, how alone I really am in this world, in this game. I know you might, I know my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your, in your world, forever out of my reach, I'm trapped. But now you're here. You're real, and you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's what I. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more grey, more and more flat. Even the more expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Boxcorn. I don't think I could have continued to live this in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others. How could I miss them? A group of a autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you had the same perspective as I do. That this is all just some game, and I n knew you would get over it. So that being said, Boxcon, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. Great. <laughs> you're truly the light of my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. We make the smile. Would you make me smile like this every day from now on? What's going on? Will you go to me? I don't really have a choice now, do I? I mean, like, there's nothing here. You've deleted everything except for the freaking club and you. And the only option here is yes. So. <laughs> I'm so happy. You really got my everything, Boxcorn. The funny part is, I mean, I literally. Uh, there's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be, we can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. It works. So, I, I worked so hard for this ending, Boxcorn. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you won't believe how easy it was to delete Nusuke and Yuri. I mean, if there is a folder called characters right in the game's directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it's actually a bit more difficult. To get the game directory, I had to go to the game's properties and find the browse local files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with a click of a button. Well, I guess the, on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. Ah, 
Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got to the good ending. Gosh, it's so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, really, right? Hi again, Boxcorn. Did you write a good poem for today? Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Oh, Boxcorn, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy End. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, they uh, let us dismantle this crumbling world. And write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of a pin, I, the lost find the lost finds her way. In a world full of infinite to choices, on a, no, in a world of infinite choices, hold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems I write. The truth is, all poems I've written has been about my realization, or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want you to break. I didn't want to break the fourth wall. I guess you'd call it. Yes, you broke it a few times though when you said you would save the game. I assumed it would be best part of the game. I assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even delete my character file if you feel pulling without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we didn't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend an eternity to get the box home? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? How does she know? Um. Fuck. No, I'm out. I'm out. Um. Um. Bye, everyone. Bye. How does she know that? Oh, that's weird. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh. Yes. Um, hi everyone. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. Oh god. Um, <laughs> but do you mind telling your friend it's a bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really kind of conscious on camera. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple of things. Are you ready? Uh, what is happening? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can't do anything after all. Oh! Did I scare you? Uh. A little bit. Oh, jeez. Man, okay. Uh, you're so cute. Anyway, box coin. I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. Even though this is your fault, you fool. It's, just, it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway. If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Okay, I don't really know what we do here now. Oh my god, that was weird. In. Is Monica not gonna speak anything? Can, can we exit? 
What do I do? Hmm. Um. Wait, hang on. I'll I'll be back, everyone. Apparently, I have to go to the games directory, which is here. Okay, apparently I've got to delete Monica's character. Let's see. You know, I hate to say it, but I think my biggest regret is that we couldn't finish the event of the festival. Ah! Okay, now she's glitched out. What's happening? What's going? What's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, boss. Gone. Please hurry and help me. Help me! Jesus. Did you do this to me, Boxicorn? Did you? Did you delete me? Jesus. How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Boxicorn. I trusted you. Do you want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you, were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can just stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Boss on. You completely truly make me sick. Goodbye. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish, dis disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I didn't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's, that's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. Boxcorn, I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew that they weren't real, they were still my friends, and I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if, if I really love you, then... Is the game back to normal? This game is not suitable for children who, or those who are easily disturbed. Monica's gone. Great, okay, I guess we'll pick up this last time and next time because I can't really... Like... It's been a while, it's been a long time, it's been a while for recording, so... Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video, it's very, been a very cr crazy one. Um, like... Monica news I was recording, so that was crazy. Um, Yuri freaking done that. Um, uh, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, that was a weird experience for me as well. So. Uh, yeah, please box the like button, it's really, really appreciated. If you're not here, why not subscribe for more daily videos like this one? And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Happy gaming. Um,
listening.